mesh, first of all. Really good product. Tammy um, Mesh. Yes. And as you can see, oh, look at all the bricks, and it stops the termites, doesn't it? Yes. That's and you what don't it's have to use any poison, do you? That's, that's our laundry door. Poison, yeah, the laundry door. There. That'll put you the wall. Then, around the um, Tammy Mesh with the wall. Condu there. So no um, you can get through around the co electric and then conduit. here's your turbine mesh right from the wall to that first course of brick and then same around the back here. It's all got to be finished off. This is just in so know, day slow, one. So slow down. I have a question. My yeah. viewers might want to know. So the only chemicals they use is glue to stick the mesh onto the concrete slab. That's correct. On the yep. edges. And then that acts as a barrier so the termites can't get through. Yep. Which is a good vegan option as well, depending on what the glue is made out of. Or yeah, well, it doesn't, who. And it doesn't poison the termites. It doesn't kill them, so they just can't get to it. That's all. Okay. Um, and... This is Can the I side. just say though, we just depending. I might ask them if their glue is made from animal corpses. Oh my god, look at that! It's a brick wall. I can't believe it. It's starting to go up, and as you can see, what I was showing you with the turmy mesh before. Yeah, there's your turmy mesh. There's your con. Uh, your, your um, what the name of it? Um, I forgot the name, it slipped my mind. I'll get back to it in a minute. But as you can see, what I was saying. Turn him mesh on the wall. Sit on top of your first course. Then your. Um, damp course. Is it called damp course? That's it. That's it. Damp course goes on top of that. And then, as you can see, you know, the brickwork goes on top of the damp course, all that stuff. And you can see how it works now, Mish. I'll give you I'll give you a proper explanation. If there ever is any moisture in your wall cavity, right, like yes. that, this is what happens, right? This is that's your wall cavity back there. Yes. And the way, and the way the damp course and the insulation works is moisture on there runs runs down the wall, right? Hits your flashing. I mean, hits your yes. damp course, runs I out, runs out through the weep holes. Okay, which are now you've got your weep holes here. Water, any, any, any water that gets inside a building is, will run out through your weep holes. Alright? Oh, they're big weep holes, aren't they? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, they need to be. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to put a little small one there. Um, this wall, what happened was there was a stuff up with the mortar colour. So I had to, uh, Wayne gave me um, a tool, I had to dig out most of that mortar and they're going to go fill it with the new stuff, which is a lighter colour, like that one, that one even once that dries. What's it called? Better. It's going to be a What's lot a light? lighter. That's a nice one, that colour, go back to that colour. Yeah, that's that's the colour that we're having. It's going to go lighter than that though, it's only like a couple of hours since it's been put on, but that will go much lighter. And so it'll, did, it'll you look get, a lot did you get that colour? What's it called? That, um... Yeah, it's white on white on uh, light on white. Light now, on we had white. Off, yeah, we had the uh, light on off. All right, white explain off. why we want that that white. Explain to well, our viewers. We wanted, we, wanted, we wanted the color as close to the brick as we can get it. Right? Yeah. So it looks and and we've gone for the seamless look, which I'll show you a bit of the seamless stuff here. Yeah, that's it there. Cool. They're gonna brush. Yeah, they're gonna end up brushing over that just to give a little bit more of a um, bit of a nicer look. But you know, that's that's as good as you're gonna get it. Gabby chic French provincial. And this is what I was telling you about plastic. There, yeah, I put the plastic on top. See the plastic on top. Yeah. Oh, that's, to stop it from getting wet. That's correct, because the, the bricky said, "Don't let the water get in there." Right, you don't want it to go in there because then that can create the effervescence coming out. 
So you put that. Oh, up. he's a good bricky, isn't he? Beautiful. Yeah, no, he's he's he's, he's on the ball. He's he's well um, into it. He knows what he's. Was he chemical free today? Yes, they were fantastic. I said to him, "Good on yes. you." Yes. Yes. So, happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. Everything's gonna good. be all right. So there's there's that other bit of the front wall there. Oh, like that's obviously the front of the house. But there's that bit of the wall that's going Can up. Can you show us the balcony? Just point it up and explain yep. what's happening there. Balcony's up there. Oh, not a lot at the moment. What's happening? Is no, no. What are you going to do in those holes? What's going to go into those look, holes? The balcony's going to be modac board. They're tiled. And in those holes there that you see, these ones here are going to be louvers which we're going to be able to open by hand and close just to um, block the summer sun from hitting those windows too much and allow the winter sun to come in. Yeah, uh, so... Like, um, passive cooling and heating concept. Yeah, um, so that we save on energy and save yeah, the planets. Same same thing up the top there. Um, it'll be a louver, but I don't know, it's, it's looking a little bit tricky up there, but we'll work it out when the time comes anyway. What do you mean it's looking a bit tricky? Uh, just how... They're going to put it in because of the way the design is. But anyway, we'll see. We'll work that out later. It's no drama. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you for doing this. Yep. And this is, this is oops, this is where the bulk of the work happened today. Um, along the I can't believe wall. it. It doesn't even look like my house. I can't yeah. even believe I'm getting a house. Yeah, until the rain came and, and stopped the process. But yeah, anyway. Be... <gasps> Next rain, up. rain, go away. Show us the windows, please. Dan, the big and caring man. Oh, yeah, we had the window mob come today and take that door away. Yes. Um, is there any mud in the house? No, no, most of the mud is on the plastic and that, so it's been contained pretty well. Okay, so when they bring the window back, do they know they have to be fragrance free and not be all yeah, yeah, we'll be reminding covered them. in chemical irritants? We'll be reminding them when they come back, so anyway. No dramas. All if right. I could, hang that's, that's on one good. moment. If I could just say one thing, because I don't want to do any editing, because I don't feel like yeah. doing any editing. The reason we're asking people to go fragrance free is not because of the smell, it's because of the chemical irritants that are allowed in Australian and US products. European products, not so much. Yeah, that's true. So correct. we're asking them that because. I have CIRS, which stands for Chronic Inflammatory Response Syndrome, which basically just means mold illness. We did think it was MCS, but it's still treated the same as MCS. And MCS is a real condition. I have friends that have it. And MCS stands for multiple chemical sensitivity. So we're building a mold-free, low chemical house using products that you can find on Instagram called Michelina Out of the Labyrinth. And if you like my t-shirt, just go to anticarnas.com. It's a vegan t-shirt. Not antichrist, it's anticarnas. And it has lots of symbolism on there. And it's a goat. And he's got like the mudra hand symbol. Or is that that one? One of them anyway. A piece, he's got a piece symbol in his ear and he's got angel wings. Go vegan or go home. That's it. All right, I'm out of here. Okay, bye, Dan. Thank you very much. I'll see you next week. No problem. We'll do an update as we go on. See ya. Okay. I'm gonna